morning everyone, how are you today? So I'm just on my drive into work, I figured I'd make a quick video. I think this is one of my State of Serenity videos. So, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. One, I am way behind making my video response to my, or my follow-up question I should say, to my God's Perfection video. Part of that is because I realized after I started receiving responses, especially Boss Man's response, I've received three video responses, Boss Man, um, Michael Rational Roundtable, and Daniel Man of Reason, but it was Boss Man 103's response that tipped me off that I had asked the wrong question to begin with. Uh, can't really answer that question until I know what do people mean when they say God is perfect or God is a perfect being because apparently it doesn't match my expectation of the my expectation of what perfection is my expectation of perfection is that it doesn't need any further changes etc uh, Michael I thought your response to that was brilliant Daniel I I'm sorry I really <laughs> Your answer is much more theological, and I'll be honest, I have a lot of trouble understanding it. Michael, yours was funny. I like that. That was, I was not expecting a response like that, and just getting that response made my day. I loved it. Um, I still don't really know how to respond to it. I think it has some implications with respect to, say, uh, people who promote morality coming from God that thing, especially if, like, if this is all for God's entertainment, then what does it mean when we say morality comes from God? It has implications like that. I know you don't hold to that, but this is going to be a ramble. As I said, it's going to be one of my state of serenities. Uh, okay, so there is God's perfection. The Toronto meetup, I am way behind on uh, that. We were expecting to have a little bit of help from Nellie Diddle. She's had some issues she's had to deal with. If you're not subscribed to Nellie Diddle, please do go subscribe to her. Uh, she apparently has some, uh, she has breast cancer, so she's getting that treated and she's, needless to say, been a little preoccupied to deal with this. So go give her your support. I'll link to her latest video below. Uh, but, but as for the meetup itself, people are probably either going to be coming in by car, by train, or by plane. So if you come in by, or, or by bus, there we go. So if you come in by bus or by train, both of those go right into downtown. You can just get right on the subway and head right to the hotel or your hostel as need be. Uh, car, kind of similar thing. There's parking at the hotel. It's, I think they charge 20 bucks a day, which is <laughs> much better than they were charging in New York. Uh, but even if there's no space at the hotel, I personally know of a few parking garages where there's a $20 a day uh, charge. So parking's not going to be an issue. The major issue is going to be people who are flying in, especially if you're flying into Pearson, which is probably going to be the place where most people fly into. There are two airports in Toronto. If you have Billy Bishop, which is right downtown, unfortunately it's fairly small. However, if you somehow manage to do fly into Billy Bishop, uh, say flying Porter Airlines, um, then that is also, you take an underground passage, leads pretty much right to where you'd catch, I believe it's a streetcar, and then that'll take you right to the subway. There's no real issue there. Flying into Pearson, however, Pier Pearson Airport is way over in Mississauga. And it can be a bit of a pain to get to downtown Toronto from Pearson Airport. So, you can always take the TTC. That's going to be your cheapest route. It will probably take you about an hour. And this is after you get off the plane. 
and figure out where to catch the TTC. To catch the TTC, that will take you down to Kipling Station. And then from Kipling Station, you go over to the Young tra Transfer, onto the Young Subway Line, and then down, uh, I believe it's to Dundas. I'm going to have to double check the uh, subway station to get off that. But in either case, it's fairly straightforward, it's just going to take a while. However, that will only cost you about three bucks. Um, another option would be to take... There is... a bus system that runs straight from the airport to downtown. That's about 20 bucks a ride, though. And that will take you to various hotels that are downtown. But as I said, it's 20 bucks. You can always take a taxi too. Taxis or limos are going to cost you even more. It's, it's good. Uh, I've never had to take one directly downtown. But I imagine it's going to cost you in the range of about 40 to 50 bucks. So obviously if you're on a budget, take the TTC if you can afford to spend a little bit more money. I'll look up some of the bus options and paste them below for you. All right, I'm just about to get to work here, so I'll sign off. And boy, that was a late signal. I usually don't do that. And uh, peace, everybody.